My name is S. Ramachandran. I am a chief scientist at CSAR Institute of Genomics and Integrative Biology. So the challenges meeting our globe are multifold these days. Primarily because of globalization, there has been a lot of movement of people between different countries, which might have positive effect of learning each other's culture, learning from each other's expertise, and a good amount of trade from different parts of the world. However, this type of globalization has also re re uh, resulted in people sp uh, spreading with diseases like coronavirus disease, which has come from one place to another. And uh, there is also uh, uh, difficulties that are facing us includes uh, development of drugs and availability at, and vaccines in all parts of the world for healthcare. How science can offer solutions to these problems? One way is to use an open approach whereby the basics of the technologies are shared among people and people will now manufacture vaccines in different parts of the world as well. This is happening in Africa now. So, as I read from the news reports, in the same way, manufacturing can happen at other different countries, thereby giving affordability for the different people situated in different countries. So, a mechanism of sharing can offer a lot of opportunities for taking care of global health and thereby taking care of global economy. I was attracted to genomics because when I was making a transition from my doctoral studies to an independent career. That was the time the genomics revolution had started. It was a technological revolution and it was also an information revolution. And that was also accompanied by information technology boom around that time. So I was simply drawn into it. I was attracted to it and uh, then over the time, I try to see how we can use this information to work in a cross-disciplined way by using the advances in computer science, namely artificial intelligence and machine learning, towards addressing important questions of pathogens and uh, try to obtain leads for development towards vaccines against these pathogens. Yeah, government is doing a lot of uh, uh, initiatives in promoting scientific research. Uh, during my time, there were some initiatives. And then uh, nowadays, I see there are lots of initiatives like uh, there are uh, many uh, types of fellowships offered for uh, uh, ex talented people to shift from uh, different uh, regions of the globe and coming back to India, settling and starting their own research projects. And our government uh, scientists uh, uh, critics and uh, committees are also very open-minded in allowing modern technologies like stem cell technology, CRISPR technology 
to come in and fund those projects. These are excellent developments towards modern era of science and technology. It was very nicely organized. I thank uh, Rutva, Ashish and uh, other students who very nicely interacted with me and uh, they have been interacting for a long time, some of them at least, in uh, preparing for the talk, in giving adequate background, in proofing the script and uh, giving the uh, theme of the talk. Overall, it was really very nice and I'm very happy to have got this chance to present before the school.